coming at you from Long Hairs HQ, talking about having long hair, different sports equipment, and just different accessories in general you can use to help advance your hair game, but not have to be compromised by the badass. Yeah. I don't want to say bad aspects of having long hair, but the difficult the, ones. The, 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 the difficult ones. Hairs. Welcome back to another episode of the Main Cave. I am your noble and splendiferous host, El Travieso. I'm joined today by our guest, my co-host, my best friend on this planet, Mason Giordano. Yep. It's a pleasure to be here, man. I asked you to be here. I love, But it's my here. pleasure to have you. There oh we go. Oh my goodness. All right. Today, our topic is going to be long hair and sports equipment. We kind of had a similar video last time we had him on the show talking about long hair on ice kind of went over how his do's and don'ts of daily routines maybe if you would call it that of having long hair with his hockey helmet but we're kind of going to touch on a little bit more of the accessory side more of the products more of the tools yeah that you can use to help tame your mane when you're working out when you're playing sports when you're getting out there and getting done yep how about that cool um let's kind of what do you want to start? Let's start with an XL hair tie. That tie right there, you want to go ahead and throw that on real quick? Right here. This XL hair tie is a great tool that you can use if you're in the more of the awkward stage or even have super long hair. want to just add, a, add it on for some style points. What we like to do is we like to throw it around our neck and then pull it up so we can keep our hair completely under the hair tie, under the XL headband. Um, oh, dude, you look tight. Yeah, look at thing. that. Look at that. You need a mirror. You're looking into it. Oh, man. I look oh, just my like goodness. Oh, Brothers. My God. Um, no. XL hair tie. It's really great if you're playing a sport where you don't have, you know, the ability to wear a hat, have the ability to wear a helmet, the ability to have something on. But it's also great, especially if you have more awkward length stage hair. If you want to keep your hair back and you're really, really sweating, you know, you're playing lacrosse, playing hockey, playing a sport where you got a helmet on. And you want to keep growing it out. You know, you know the Great Cut 2024 is coming up. You're like, damn, I really want to donate. But I don't want to cut my hair. I got the sports I'm playing right now. It's okay. You can, you can, you can play lacrosse. Just throw on an XL hair tie. This is great. Another tool we can use, this headband right here. Um, I personally don't have much experience with these. I know they're pretty cool. I've, I've seen a lot more people like, you know, when I'm playing pickup basketball wearing them. Me, when I'm playing, like, run, when I'm going to runs, playing pickup basketball, I'm wearing, like, a beanie. I'm kind of a weirdo. Yeah. I'll roll it up over my ears so I'm not sweating like that. But I always do have some some type of tool, some type of accessory on my head. Just never use this one. But these are great if you have especially thick hair. The XL hair tie might not be enough to really hold it back if you're trying to go from the crown back. This has got just a little bit more girth, a little bit more oomph. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep, a little stronger. A little stronger. More like him, not like me. Yeah, he's big. Relatively. 220. Relatively. About, about 220. 225. Yep. Um, yep. Another tool we got, what we can use, what I like to use um, is, oh, I'm wearing it right now. Head wrap. A head wrap is great if you're a guy like me where your forehead's a little bit bigger, you know, you're a little bit more of like a self-conscious, shy guy. You don't like to show it off super often unless you get a nice fresh haircut and you're covering, you know, your forehead with some nice bangs or something. Yep. Um, these are great. These are really nice. They, they go completely around. They're more of a dry fit material instead of like a, our, our hair tie, uh, polyester spandex. Yeah, it's, it's a little more breathable. It's definitely a lot more breathable. Um, they fit under your hat. These are great in a lot of different facets. I'll kind of touch on a few. You're playing baseball. I know a lot of baseball players rock things like this. Yeah, Luke Voigt, Tatis. Luke, Tatis, Harper. Yeah, that's a right. A lot of guys with longer hair. They like wearing these. It's a little bit more of a uh, low-profile approach to keeping your hair back. But it looks cool without you know a hat on. But like I was saying, if you get your, your nice new era fitted, these things fit awfully, dude. They're mm -hmm. handmade, so they're, they always like to range in size. And what I like to do is I like to wear one of these underneath if I'm playing sports or if I'm not and my hat doesn't fit right. So if I'm playing sports, this is a must. If I'm playing, you know, Monday night softball, even if it's cold, 
keeps the top of your head warm. Yeah. Nobody likes a cold head. Go ahead and throw on the hat, and it fits just right underneath. Every now and then you can get kind of a little peak from the side of the crown. But they are great because they wick that sweat. doesn't get it dripping into your eyes. Nothing's yeah. worse. Got to ground ball it's your the way. Worst, man. Yeah, you got to ground – Playing second, ground ball, got to toss it over the shortstop. Nothing's worse than messing up a double play, man. Nope. Nope. Get one of these on, you never mess up a double play. Never. Never again. Don't quote me on that, though. <clears throat> what else? What else? What other tools can we use? Oh, again, hair t- these head wraps. All these, like, I, I'm, I'm going to touch on this, too. All these tools that we've mentioned so far can be used in conjunction with one another. Um, El Sicario, for example, loves wearing this head wrap right here and then tying his hair into a high ball, um, with a, with a hair tie. Um, you know, you can't really tie your hair up, up top. If you're playing a sport where you got, you know, a hat, a helmet, um, you know, or what, where else can't you tie your hat? hat helmet? I mean, uh, anytime you're wearing anything on your head, I mean, get creative with it. Do what you got to do. Yeah. F- find yeah. a way. Yeah. Um, you can tie your hair up down low if you're wearing a helmet, but you know, when I'm wearing my helmet on the field, shout out the long hair is always rocking this sticker on here. Oh yeah. Gold. Oh yeah. Gold baby. Um, that's a sweet Friar Faithful hat, by the way. Um, like I was saying, all these things can be used in conjunction with one another or with another tool. If you have super long hair like him or myself. You get to the point where you don't really notice that you need a headband to keep your hair back. It kind of just naturally stays back, but it can kind of help. You know, your hair droops off to the side. And I know usually, at least when you're wearing a helmet, it's nice to have something that's a little low profile, something yeah. that doesn't really stick up too much. Yeah. So, I mean, any of these headbands and especially the head wraps, that's why they're so great is because they're just so low profile. Yep. They kind of they they're real, real flat against your head. Um, that's again, that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't really used something like this. It's just a little bit thicker, a little bit more robust. It, yep. it kind of just sticks out. It's got its place to use. Uh, uh-huh. um, and when you're playing lacrosse, just not my cup of tea, but, um, what are, what's another tool that we can use? Net gator. Yep. Perfect. I know Love you a can, net gator. you can vouch you're a big, big angler, big fisherman. Yep, big, yeah. Always dude. The best, the best fishermen on the boats are usually the guys that have the net gators on, whether it's that mahi-mahi print. <laughs> the or, purple lightning. The, the purple lightning. Yep. yep. Those are going to be the guys that you want to you wanna look at. You want to see what they're doing because you know. Stand next to them. Yep. You want to stand see, next to them. That's where you, the fish what are. What are you throwing right there? Yep. Yep. Pick their brain about what they're, what they're fishing yeah. with. Net gators are awesome, though. We, we don't currently offer a net gator here with the long hairs, possibly in the beta works. However... You can find like cheap net gators on Amazon. You don't really need a crazy brand. Yep. Um, I mean, it's good for keeping the hair back, but yeah. a, a real undervalued trait of the, of the net gator is the UV protection. Yep. It's real big, man. Especially around the, the ears, the the neck, the, the neck, face. It's, it's perfect. You got you got like people like us. We have longer hair. Our necks are never in the sun. Yep. They're white. It's a ghost, man. They're pale. Yep. If you get in that kind of awkward stage, that's when the net gator really starts to shine. Yeah. So, yeah, net gators are great. Like you said, you kind of touched on how they can protect the top of your face, the bottom of your face, your hair. Yep. It's it's the Swiss Army knife of hair accessories. I yeah, feel like. definitely. Camping, you know, hiking, especially for me, hiking. I like to throw one of these on under my hat. It kind of protects not just your forehead and wick sweat, but it protects your hair coming out of the back of your hat a little bit as well. And you're hiking, you're climbing underneath trees and branches. What I'm getting, a vision I'm getting in my head right now is the hike at Paso Picacho. Yep. Um, across the street, Stonewall Peak. Um, you're ducking under trees, you know, every switchback. And a lot of brush. It, it gets caught up, especially if you have long hair. Yeah. So this is a great tool you can use. Um, one more point I want to touch on is um, washing cycles. Um, I know for guys like us, um, you know, you're, you're getting a really, really sweaty head, sweaty scalp after you're playing. You don't just you don't just go out on the ice or go out on the pitch or the field or whatever you play on and don't give 110%, you know. Yep, you're going to be get, sweating. You're getting, you're gonna you're be getting working. sweaty. You're going to be working. Yep. Work for it. Work for it. Um, but, yeah, you're getting out there. You're getting sweaty. Um, and then you, you're finishing up and you're like, damn, man. Like, 
I, I got a sweaty head. Like, I, I need to wash my hair, but, you know, you're only three days into your wash cycle and you're trying to stretch it to five. Yep. Or if you're in a pinch, you don't really have that time. You're going out to dinner. Yep. This is where Instant Freshies comes in. Brush some of that into your hair. You can extend your wash cycle a couple of days. You know, like me, I got a game. I just got my butt kicked by, I don't know, Sam Marcos. They put it on us like 26 to 9 or something like that. But then you got to you gotta brighten up. You got dinner in 30 minutes. You got to go meet, go meet the family. Put some of that into your hair. Not only will it kind of dry it up, it'll take some of that oil out of the way. Yeah. And give you that appearance of just being real fresh. Gives you an instant freshy. Yep, so fresh and so clean. So fresh and so clean, man. I like that. Um, all stuff is great. It's it's really non-invasive, if you get what I'm saying. It's pretty, I, I don't want to say low profile because it's not like it's sticking out, but some some products that you put in your hair, you can really, really tell that they're in there, but you just put some of that in there. Not only will it freshen you up, but you won't even notice it. Yep, a perfect detail. Yeah. Yep. Both. So Usually you can only have one or the other. That gives you both. Yep. It best of both, both worlds. Best of both worlds. Hand them on Sam. <laughs> Get the best. Yeah, yeah, we of know both it. worlds. Keep that in there. Um anyways, so just been a few of our points here. Um coming at you from Long Hair's HQ, talking about having long hair, different sports equipment, and just different accessories in general you can use to help advance your hair game, but not have to be compromised by the badass. Yeah. I don't want to say bad aspects of having long hair, but the difficult the, ones, the, 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 the difficulties, the tricks. Yep. So yep. it says to the guy, "How can I help maintain my hair, but not be too, you know, He's over like, the top?" Give me the gobble ghoul, and he say, "All right, I got some instant freshies for you. I got a hair, a- everything hair. you need, man. The gobble the ghoul. It's in the sauce. It's in the gravy. Yep, you better believe it. I mean, like I said, you got to sometimes you got to get creative with it." Sometimes, you know, you got to mix and match. If, you, if you're feeling like, you you know, your hair needs a little extra today, you go on one of these. If you yep. feel like, you know, a little you bit just want to go with the old-fashioned, you, you go on one the of these. Just use the old power clean. Yeah, the old-fashioned XL hair tie, the, the hair band. You don't need the whole head wrap. You don't need the whole jalupa. No, it changes day to day, I too. <laughs> you don't need the whole You don't need The whole, the whole enchilada. The whole enchilada. Yep. That's right. This has been another rendition of The Main Cave. Again, I've been joined here by my co-host, my best friend. My brother, by choice and by blood, Mason. Yep. yep. El Patron. Yep. Love being everybody. here, man. Yep. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Comment down below. What What do you guys use when you're when you're working out? Is there anything that I should know about that I didn't mention here today? Um, because I'm always learning. I need to know more. I'm still young. Yeah, always. 20, dude. Like I, always. I need to, I need to, I need to get it dialed in. Help me dial in. If I didn't help you, dial find in. what works best for you. Yep. Um, again, thank you guys. It's been great. See you.